Hello everyone, this is Diaquilin and welcome to day 16, day 16 of the 30 Days of Confidence, Passion and Purpose Challenge. And today we are talking about uh, stewardship. Stewardship uh, is one of, one of uh, you know, my favorite topics to talk about, especially uh, within this last year of my life. Uh, I always say this, you know, when it comes to, to my business and, uh, and, and, and the ministries that I've, I've ever uh, had and, and, and been over, uh, I don't look at it as it's mine. Of course, you know, I am the CEO of QLN Inc., uh, but that's just a title. Ultimately, God is the CEO. God is the owner. God is the everything. Uh, and, and not just of Qlin Inc., but of my life. Uh, one of the biggest reality checks that I've had recently in my stewardship was when my sister passed away and I took guardianship over her three children. And uh, one of the things that I say all the time is now I have double, you know, double stewardship. Uh, meaning that uh, number one, they are God's children, but also they're my sister's children. So I just feel sometimes I feel the pressure of that. It's like, okay, I, I got to really get it together because not only are they God's, but they're not even mine. So I got to make sure that I do right by them. Um, so with that, we have to know that as stewards that, you know, we are uh, you know, we are property managers. That's what we talked about in uh, the challenge today, being property managers, meaning that we manage what God has given us. You know, some people, uh, you may have children, you may have a house, you may uh, even be, uh, you know, have certain types of earthly possessions. You may be a business owner, a ministry leader, or whatever it is that you're doing, make sure that and know, make sure that you know rather uh, that you are a steward. You are not the owner. God is the owner. The Bible says, "A cattle on a thousand hill belong to God. The earth and the fullness thereof, everything and everybody belongs to God." So whatever He blesses us with and whatever He entrusts into our lives, we have to just manage it well. And so that we can one day hear him say, well done, thy good and faithful servant. Um, so with that, your assignment today is to explore your stewardship responsibilities and answer the following questions. Question number one is, what has God entrusted to my care? So make a list of certain things that, uh, you know, like I said everything, but there are certain things that you can make a list of. So make a list of certain things that God has entrusted to your care. Uh, the next question is, uh, what type of steward have I been over? And whatever those things that you listed, uh, you know, I can say, well, what kind of steward have I been over QLIN Inc.? What kind of steward have I been over the house that God has blessed us with? Uh, what kind of steward have I been over the money that I have? What kind of steward have I been over the children that I'm raising now? Uh, those kinds of things. So ask yourself that question. What type of steward have I been over whatever it is that you listen in number one. Uh, number four is you want to ask yourself, would God be proud of how I've taken care of these areas or these things? Uh, would God be proud? Would God be pleased? Would he say to you, well done, my good and faithful servant? Now that question within itself is powerful because if you can truthfully answer that, and if you truthfully answer and you realize that, God might not be as proud of me in this particular area as I, as I hope he would be, then that's a point of change for you to, to just become a better steward. Uh, and then, of course, which leads to number four, in what ways can I be a better steward over this particular area of my life? And once you answer that, uh, if you find that you have not been a good steward, then repent and ask God to help you to be a better steward and then ask him for a plan and whatever plan he gives you uh, live out that plan also it's okay to get help ask for help if you need help um you know sometimes we can 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 feel so self-sufficient but we it's okay to ask for help uh, that's one of the biggest things that i learned uh since raising three uh three people and I say people because they are uh, young, you know, teenagers, well, preteen, teen, and a young adult who's disabled. Um, but I had to learn to ask for help. 
And that's a, the beauty of it is that, you know, God, yes, we are stewards, but he also sends us help whenever we need help. So be sure to ask for help. Uh, and then there's a scripture that I want you to read today. Open your Bible, like literally open your Bible. Don't go online to read the scripture. I just believe that there is so much power in just opening up your Bible. Now, if you don't have a Bible, yes, go online to read the scripture. But if you have a Bible, open up your Bible and read Matthew chapter 25, verse 14 through 28. Again, Matthew chapter 25, verse 14 through 28. And I'm going to read verse 23, which is our focus scripture for today. And it says, his Lord said to him, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. Now, that's that's something that I didn't say. And I want to point that out, uh, that when we become faithful stewards over the things that God has blessed us with, then he will bless us with more. And, uh, you know, we, we tend to ask God for more money. Uh, we tend to ask God for a bigger house or a better car and things like that. But the question is, are you taking care of the house that you already have or the apartment that you're living in? Are you taking care of, you know, the car that you have now? If you want a better car, are you taking care of your current car? Uh, those things matter because if you can't take care of it on a small level, then how can you expect God to give it to you on the big level? So with that, make sure that uh, you master your, your stewardship today. As always, you are great in Christ and you are powerful beyond measure. Be blessed.